Hey loves, so today we are going to talk about my current foundation routine that lasts all day. It's full coverage, it's semi-matte, it's just I have found a combination right now that is just, it's lasting longer than any other foundation combination that I have tried. Anyway, you guys will see. I don't know, this is just, I know it's a lot of products, it's a little obsessive, it's a little, it's a little crazy, it's a little ridiculous. I understand that completely, but I have never had my skin look so good with any other combination. So it's worth it for me to take these steps every day. Personally, I know it's going to be way too many for a lot of you, but maybe you can just pick and choose what you like out of the combination. All right. So before we get started, please subscribe. If you have not already, I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on my channel. Let's get into it. Okay. So we're doing about half high-end products, half drugstore products. So some of these are really affordable. I mean, the foundation is really affordable. So I normally moisturize my face. I don't really have my actual moisturizer down here, but I often use this anyway. So this is just the Hangover RX by Too Faced. I don't think this does anything in this combination to keep my makeup on all day. I think it just hydrates my skin. Obviously wash your hands, which I just did. Oh, you guys, I'm so sleepy today. I know that's like not unusual for me. Oh, I will tell you why I'm so sleepy in just a second, but let's keep going. I'm going to jump right into hydrating my under eyes. You guys know that I love this Revolution Pro under eye hydrating primer. I would just say use whatever eye cream. I don't think this really keeps, obviously it doesn't really keep my makeup on under my eyes, but it just helps the way it looks on my under eye. You can tell this has really been in my makeup bag. This is the Revolution Pro Perfecting Featherweight Primer. I think this helps with smoothing out my pores. I feel like it makes my cheek area look so good. I have been for so long not using a primer on my cheeks besides the Hangover RX one. And I feel like this really does make a difference in the way my pores look. And yes, often I do put it on like this. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit on my chin, but really I just, I'm mostly focusing it right here. And I just kind of pat it in, and I just feel like it smooths out my pores a little bit. If you don't have an oily nose, you probably can just go ahead and put this on your nose. But I have such an oily nose, I'm gonna use a different primer. Okay, so I have just patted that all into my skin. And because I have a really oily nose, I that's where I have the most trouble keeping my foundation on and not breaking up throughout the day. You guys know how much I love this primer. I feel like this is the number one primer that keeps my oil at bay on my nose. So this is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer and I just feel like no other primer keeps my nose not oily. As good as this one. So I am just putting it in my problem area which is right next to my nose and on my nose. You really just need the tiniest amount and it works amazing. This is like one of the mini sizes, so it's like a half size. Okay, so as far as primers, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. This is the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion just because this is when I would do it. Obviously, this is not what this video is about, but if you wanna keep your eyeshadow on all day too, I highly recommend this. Okay, why don't I tell you guys why I'm so sleepy? Um, so last night I went to Scarywood. If you guys live in the Pacific Northwest or anywhere near here, you probably know of it. Um, at least if you live in Eastern Washington or Northern Idaho. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if I ever want to go again. It was terrifying. Like I am such a baby and it was so cold. So cold. So cold. Thank God. Like I went with my best friend Amanda because it was her birthday and her boyfriend Aaron. And thank God they had like these WSU, which... Holla for the Cougs, um, WSU uh, poncho things that were like so warm, but I was still freezing, but thank God they had those because had I not been wearing that, I would have been absolutely frozen. But we had fun. It was just so cold, so cold. My eyeballs actually hurt today. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to foundation. So I'm gonna use the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in F1. I know you guys are probably sick of seeing this guy, but it's just so good. And it's one of the only foundations I have found that I can wear on its own. I don't mix anything with it. I don't have to lighten it. I don't have to add hydration to it. It just works so good. I do like mixing the Josie Miron Vibrancy Foundation with it if I don't need like a long lasting. If I'm not as worried about it staying on all day, but like, or if my skin needs a little extra hydration, I will mix that in. But otherwise this one just looks good all day. And I am a super fan. You can either put it on the back of your hand and put it on your face if you're worried about putting it on your face. I don't have any breakouts or anything right now. So I'm just gonna put it on my face. And I usually dip in twice. It's usually enough for me. 
if I feel like I need a little more, I will pop back in there. Tops three. I feel like three times going in is like more than enough. I'm just gonna use the Real Techniques sponge and pat that in. All right, now we're gonna move on to concealer. This is still my concealer of choice. I do like the Revolution Conceal and Divine even more with this foundation because this foundation provides a little extra coverage, but I do think that the Tarte one has more coverage. The more I've used both of them, I have decided Tarte Shape Tape is still my number one, still my number one, but definitely number two is the Conceal and Defines. It's hard to find one that, like, after you try this one, it's hard to find one that looks as good or even close to as good. But anyway, I just love this concealer. I have mine in Fair. I like to put a little on my nose, a little right there. And I have some darkness right here from my smile lines. And then again, I'm just gonna pounce it out. Whoa. I haven't noticed the line at all until today. Oh my goodness, I must be losing the teeny, teeny bit of color that I had. Dang it, I'm back to super pale again. I was so excited to have one that matched me perfectly. I've been exfoliating my face even more, so I think that I have lost any sort of color I had there. So we're back to super pale. So maybe we'll try mixing in a little bit of 0.5 next time. But anyway, that's not what this video is about, so let's keep going. All we have left to do as far as this foundation routine is set certain areas. Somehow my favorite powder in the world is not in my makeup caddy. Normally to set my under eyes, I use the Physicians Formula Mineral Correcting Powder in Translucent, but I don't know where it's gone. Um, so I just grabbed a powder that I like out of my drawer. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. So this is obviously a more expensive alternative, but this one I can put it under my eyes and on my nose. Normally I use two different powders. I like the Physicians Formula Mineral Correcting Powder and Translucent on my under eye, and then I'll use whatever powder I have in my contour palette that I'm using. Like I've been using the Emojin and Revolution one. I just love Revolution contour palettes. Like all of them seem to work for me and all of the light shades in those palettes seem to work to set my nose. So that's what I normally would use, but since I'm sorry it's upstairs and I don't know where it's at, we're just gonna go for this guy. Plus this one, if you're willing to spend the money, this is an amazing powder. I don't like it as much on my under eyes as the Positions Formula one, but it's not bad at all. And it works wonderful for keeping my nose set. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit on our sponge. I'm gonna tap it off a little bit. This is a lot. I'm just gonna tap this on my under eye to set my under eye. I don't really bake because I feel like that makes my under eyes look too dry even when I hydrate them. So I'm just going to set that. I'm also gonna go ahead and set my lid a little bit. I'm gonna go in and set my nose. This one I, on my nose, I put a little extra just because again, it's my oily area. And just because why not, I'm going to set my smile lines because no matter what foundation I use, I usually get a little bit of breaking up there. I don't normally need to set my cheeks with this foundation. It doesn't seem to be a problem for me, but if you want to, obviously go ahead and do that. And that's it guys. All right, love. So that is everything for my current foundation routine. I know that seems like a lot. It's a little excessive, but I like doing it. I find joy in like putting my makeup on every day. And this is just the combination that I have found. If any of you guys have a primer that you think is as good as this one, the BH Cosmetics one is really good, but I do think this one's a little better. I feel like I get a little more wear out of this one. Like I can wear my foundation all freaking day, like 12 hours, and it still looks almost exactly the same. And then the only thing that's actually left is after I do the rest of my makeup, I will put on some of the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is still my number one setting spray. I have not found anything that I like as much. The Makeup Revolution Sport one is really good. I just seem to go back to this one. I don't know why. I just do. I know it's excessive. Every year right around this time, like right now, you can get a two-pack for 39 at I think Nordstrom and Sephora. I'm not sure if Ulta has it too. They probably do. Um, and that's usually, I usually get a two-pack for Christmas or around Christmas and then it lasts me pretty much all year because I don't use it every single day, but most days I will. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on just so you guys can get the gist of it. 99% of the time I will spray this on after I have my full face on because I don't find that it messes with my mascara or anything. I just feel like it just kind of keeps it, locks it all in place. It's usually three, three, three. I know it's a lot. That's a lot. 
If you have super dry skin, I do think that this one is also a great one. This is the Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So when I'm having really dry days, I'll use this at the end of it or the Hyaluronic Fix from Revolution. I know I'm a, I'm a Revolution junkie. I'm sorry, guys, especially right now because I can't spend a lot of money. Well, it's my favorite at the drugstore completely. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to insert some footage on what my face looks like at the end of all of this with makeup and everything. But first, before we go, I probably should show you guys a close up. So this is what we're looking at. I normally have some decent sized pores right here, but I just feel like that primer helps smooth them out. I'll even turn this down a little bit, which I mean, I don't, my skin's not perfect, but I just feel like this just makes my skin look so much smoother. I was feeling like I, especially with the change in seasons, had a little extra texture right here. I do feel like the primers do help with that. And this one, it's not even like, oh, it's just a perfecting primer. It's not a pore filling primer, but I do feel like I get those kind of smoothing results with it. All right, love. So that is everything. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it if you could, because it does help me out so, so much. And please subscribe if you have not already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on my channel. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. And you know, a lot of it's probably because my face is full of chub. <laughs> Let's get real. But I'll tell you when. Why? What? Okay, now we're gonna... What? You guys, this is no... What is on my hand? I don't know what's on my hand. Oh. You're so hairy. I'm wearing black today, sweet pea. Why is so hairy? <laughs> so cute. I feel like it's a... <laughs> These kittens today. I am so sleepy. I can't be bothered. I love you. Okay, so normally I use the physician's fan. Use what?